has really kind of helped us and she's consented to be here with us today. She's just had the immersive experience and I let her share more about what she felt about the film. Hi guys, thank you all for coming. I'm uh, really excited uh, for the release of the film, obviously, Resident Evil. Uh, the final chapter, a conclusion to a 10 year long journey. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. But what really caught my eye was this experience, the haptic technology, which is coming to India for the first time. And I'm quite a gaming buff myself, so I had to be here. Uh, it was I think you should try this experience with the, uh, you know, the virtual reality experience of it all. And it uh, will uh, be a lot of fun. So yeah, I really, really, I felt, I'm wearing this vest and this gun in my hand. And I thought that like these zombies attack me. And when they attack me, there were vibrations in the vest. So I thought that I'm really going to be cut me. In fact, you know, in the film, uh, the character is somebody who's extremely fearless and somebody who speaks a mind. And we thought that, you know, Sonakshi, nobody better than you who can actually epitomize somebody who's fearless and who speaks a mind. And this is what actually, uh, you know, and you really kind of agreed to help us there. So really, really thank you very much. In fact, uh, you know, this is a really uh, unique thing because when you wear the specs and you're wearing this vest and the gun in your hand, this vest has got some embedded uh, uh, speakers and an equipment that actually vibrates inside when the Hello. zombie attacks you and you feel really helpless. There was a point in time when we actually switched off her bullets so that when the zombie attacks her, she feels that she's getting attacked by her. And it's a really, it, it's an experience that places you in the film. So you all must try it. It's the first time ever done in India. And you know, it's something that our Japanese engineers from Sony have actually conceived this. So And, and, they're, and they're really, really good. Huh? I mean, it was a real fun, Thank proper you. Thank experience. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yeah, so over to you guys and thanks a lot for coming and hope you can share this with everybody else on your uh, online or your newspapers or websites. My question is that if there is no gun and there are no zombies, then who would you want to keep the gun in front of your eyes? If there are no zombies, then who would you want to be? You are asking a very violent question. Hypothetically, you guys are shooting me, I will shoot you. But the concept that you have killed a lot of zombies, how did you feel this concept? I think that zombie films, I like to watch a lot. I really enjoy watching zombie films. And this is a very long-standing franchise for 10 years. And finally, its final chapter is going to be released. So it's a big deal for Sony Pictures as well. I enjoy this watching. So I'm really looking forward to this film and yeah. And what kind of games do you like to play? Sports, uh, football, I like playing uh, uh, simulation games. It's the Sims hai game ka naam jo main baut khelti thi. Uh, ab bhi khelti hu, kabhi kabhi. Uh, so yeah, I like, I enjoy gaming. Yeah, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Hi, uh, Sonakshi. Hi. Yeah, uh, I think as you mentioned in the start, this is a film franchise which is perhaps waiting to be adapted in India. Yeah. Uh, with the way, I mean, there's a female protagonist just kicking and punching and uh, shooting. Uh, you think something like this can be made for the Indian audience as well? Like I said, I hope so. Uh, uh, there was an attempt uh, a few years back which was Go Go Gone. It had zombies in it. Right. And I feel that was a really good attempt to be, uh, you know, sort of kind of moved in that direction. But uh, I would love, like I said before, for something like that to happen in India. I hope we uh, reach that um, level of visuals, uh, you know, that we see in Hollywood films, the technology that we see in Hollywood films. And I hope that that can come here very, very soon. And if that happens, uh, I'm ready to kick <laughs> some zombie you know, <laughs> Indian audiences' tastes are changing, as you've seen over the last year or so. And, uh, you know, there is always, uh, uh, you know, they, they want to seek out some content that's different, that's unique. And like Sonakshi just said that, you know, uh, um, actresses today are performing better than ever. And there's an opportunity that a commercial film like this can definitely uh, go out there and become successful. So, yeah, so Sonakshi, if we ever do make this film, definitely on for You know where to go. Done. Hi Sonakshi. Hi. Um, you know, if we see the trend in last few years, Hollywood films are also doing good business in India. So how do you see that? Do you see that as a threat to the industry or do you see that it is a good thing because audiences will get more choices and it will, like, it will lead to better films being made in Bollywood as well? Uh, well, 
that's a very very positive way to look at it that uh, we need to start uh, we we need to move uh, towards making uh, a lot of good content that people would like to go and watch but i'm i'm glad that i think every film should do well yeah why not it, it's it's a uh, we have a huge audience uh, the way things are going right now it shows that the audiences are opening up and wanting to watch new things on screen uh, so if they're doing well let them sabka bhalo ho but apna <laughs> Sorry, I just like to add to that. You know, uh, the whole comparison that if the Hollywood film is good, then the yeah, Bollywood will be hurt. It doesn't happen like this. You know, it never happens like this. In fact, the market grows. You know, together, I think the whole idea is that when Hollywood films do well, Bollywood films do well, the entire market together gets buoyant, and that's the whole attempt with uh, with films like uh, you know, when you when you see films like getting dubbed in different languages, the attempt is to go deeper. and reach as many more people as possible so for example resident evil is getting dubbed in hindi tamil and telugu the idea is not to kind of impact the films in those market but to reach out to audiences and grow the market collectively create a movie going habit get people into the theaters because at the end of the day that's what our business is we want more and more people to come into theaters and more films that actually create good content will actually to do that so i don't think it's either or i think it's together that's the basic i thought behind it and uh, sonakshi how open are you to lend your voice um, uh, I, i mean dub dub for the films dub for hollywood films you have done for an animated yeah, film yeah i have i have actually it's a very fun experience uh, at least the animation that i dubbed for uh, was a very very fun experience i would like to why not um, we are artists uh, we can uh, you know uh, portray our talents in many many different ways whether it is actually being on screen or behind it so i would love to dub for a film uh, if that came along my way sometime yeah uh, sonakshi yeah now uh, speaking about bollywood films uh, there are like two big releases that happened last week rais and kabul so which one have you watched or or you are going to watch i actually haven't watched either but i want to watch both so hopefully soon i'll end up catching both okay so guys on that note thank you very much for there's a the last question okay so rakshi आपने कहा कि अगर रेजिडेंट इविल या बॉलीवुड में बनती है या ऐसी कोई फिल्म बॉलीवुड में बनती है तो आप करना चाहेंगी हॉलीवुड फिल्म करने के बारे में क्या ख्याल आप रेडिंग है उसके लिए मैं यहाँ बहुत खुश हूँ आप मुझे क्यों भेजना चाहती है वहाँ पर मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा मतलब मैं बहुत खुश हूँ यहाँ पे जो काम मैं यहाँ पर कर रही हूँ मैंने सोचा नहीं है बट जो जो वहाँ पर जा रहे हैं मैं उनके लिए भी बहुत खुश हूँ जो काम वो कर रहे हैं एंड ऑनेस्टली आई एम हैप्पी ओवर हेयर सो लेट सी वॉट द फ्यूचर होल्स यू कैन नेवर से well all the best to you sonakshi thank, thank you, you everyone for joining us today the whole game setup is going to be on till 29th that is sunday at the courtyard near the courtyard palladium so please go and experience it thank you sonakshi thank you thank vivek thank you thank you guys and thank you, uh, don't don't miss out on that uh, on the gaming thing